Hey everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We're here at the SAP for Utilities event in Florida, and I have with me Raj. Raj, could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, I'm Raj Erod. I work for Centerpoint Energy, based in Houston, Texas. I'm a lead architect on uh, information analytics. Okay, and what size utility is Centerpoint? Uh, we serve around uh, 5 million customers. Uh, we've been uh, around 2 million customers around Houston area for the electric side, and uh, we also serve around six states for the gas. We provide energy for both electric and gas. Okay, and you've recently rolled out a um, predictive analytics project. Uh, can you give me some of the rationale behind that, why you went for it, and some of the outcomes that have come from it? Sure, um, so as part of, uh, we, we implemented the customer vision platform in 20, last year, early this year. We started this project in 2012. Uh, so we've been doing kind of uh, predictive analytics around uh, customer side as well as uh, some of the load forecasting. Uh, from a customer perspective, we basically the customer vision project was to enhance customer engagement and uh, we want to have our agents to be uh, more informed and intelligent when they engage with the customers. So when somebody calls in, uh, we, want the, uh, we want our agents to have more information about them so that they can basically engage with the customer in a more informed way and that leads to better customer experience. And as part of that process, we developed the uh, predictive call center predictive analytics engine, which basically will predict the likelihood of the call. Basically what it means is, for example, if somebody is calling, the predictive analytic engine basically says he might be calling for one of the top eight reasons that we already have in the process. Uh, we call it the super eight process. It might be like the high build scenario or disconnection or you want to move in or move out based on whatever scenarios they have, the predictive analytics engine creates a likelihood of the call. Okay. And in addition to it, it basically uh, tells the agent more information about the customer, like how many times they called in the past 30 days, what is their last bill, what is their uh, current bill scenario, or do they have a disconnection, do they have uh, any other more information regarding them. So we have like, almost like 116 data points uh, that it, this process goes through, and uh, which is being used in our prediction. So with this, all this, all of this information, uh, the agent is more informed, and uh, it also leads to an intelligent conversation with the customer, and uh, basically it should result in a better customer experience. In addition to it, we also want to reduce that agent's handling time. Um, so we reduced most of the f like almost uh, 14 clicks to two clicks um, with this kind of process. Okay, and you mentioned uh, weather forecasting. Yeah, um, so it's a load forecasting model engine. Uh, so basically we have impl completed implementation of our smart meters in 2012. So we have all the 15 minutes interval data that's being transmitted uh, for our electric customers. So as part of this project, we did the load forecasting. Uh, basically it's the load studies or load research we should call. And uh, we have load information, weather information, and the customer information. Our vision is to correlate all of this data in predicting or forecasting our load for the future, like based on weather impact. And uh, it also helps, it will help us in uh, e-curtailment and uh, customer engagement experience too in the, and uh, so we've been, um, so this, this, this has a vision, a vision project, so it's been good, so. And have you any, f any future plans or any future projects planned for the predict predictive analytics? Yes, so from both of these predictive projects, uh, we have one of the projects that we want to do is the customer analyze customer behavior b based on past historical uh, experience with us. And from a load forecasting, it expands into a lot of opportunities like uh, transmission and uh, distribution on the demand planning or even the e-curtailment that I mentioned earlier. So we basically want to uh, use these models to forecast what might be our load based on weather. And it can be used in, uh, event, in any events of storm or even for uh, different scenarios where we want to just buy more uh, gas or electricity. So it can be used for others, other uh, products as well. Okay, super. Raj, that's been great. Thanks a million for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity.